<laughs> hey guys, um, um, Sven, we played the regional today with uh, I think about 200 guys, uh, players, round about. Now played Tenpai, I got top 8 with it, and here's the deck profile for you. So, surely standard the Tenpai cards, uh, too far draw for follow plays if you have to go first, and those are surely mandatory. Um, then this Trudeau with Ravine because we played or are played the set rotation to see uh, more field spells to be specific the Zangan summoning and Ravine and this Trudeau are surely the best option because it's an extender, the best extender and it's kind of engine you can OTK with just this Trudeau and one, one other body so it does not break like Negro value or shit like that. So the it was a hand trap build or a or it is a hand trap build, not the board breaker build to play the free Nibiru and free shift on the main because it's yeah it gives you the edge against a couple of decks and and, and also against a couple of decks it's an auto win. And to auto carve through Dimension Shifter is not that big of a deal in most cases, so that felt really right, to be fair. Free Ash because it's the best one, free Wailer for fire matchups, and two over for the mirror match, and it's quite a good hand trap in the in the in the current format. And free Wailer again. So 18 hand traps. You see at least two, in most cases three, so it's very hard to establish any board against you and then you OTK through some weak weak boards. This is also from the engine of the Tenpai cards, mandatory. Another field spell, then surely the Pot of Prosperity, because you can aim for that one missing puzzle piece for your OTK and the last two cards are two lightning storms because in game one you choose to go second of course and then it's the most versatile card yeah. so the extra deck plates two and three of those guys and why because uh, they want to lose to Kashtira Unicorn or stuff like that if you play uh, two, one, and he's ripping two of those guys, then you just lose. But it never came up. <laughs> uh, I think the way less Kashtira gets uh, famous, it will be decreased by one, one, and I'll play more of the link package. Yep, then Q belt is mandatory, pops your own cards or pops some. Spell traps of your opponent or some floodgates, it's insane, versatile. Black Rose, the main reasoning is to shoot the whole board, but it really never came up to be honest. If you have uh, like three monsters on, on your board and field spell, then you probably can OTK by itself, so you don't need him. But yeah, in theory, it's good, I guess. Fairy Dragon for some scary matchups like. Runic or stuff like that when you have to search or you dig for a field spell specific or flunder but um, game one oh, Surely a, a dead card in extra deck and I'll be fair. I'll just play it once um, This is one of the better cards. It's like a mini version of this one and uh, if your opponent uh, Yeah, if you if your opponent um, has a an ash left or stuff like that, and you um, quick shorting him, then he just lose because um, your Kaiman resolves in the battle phase. Then the OTK card, but it only comes up if you have shifter, otherwise, your OTK is simply with this. So play this like two times at max in the eight matches. And now the other good cards the link package, the seal, surely, if you go first, because it's the best. And then this one. So the theory behind this is you go into Hita, into Princess, Princess, Special Summons, the Chundra um, back, so the red one, which specials from, from the deck. 
you go into the battle phase, attack with him, special summon the other um, two bodies, then you go into Amber Whale, then into Zelantis. Zelantis special itself in the main monster zone, so you have to let the, the left two bodies for seal into the extra monster zone, and in your opponent's turn you have a bounce, a special for follow up, you've got a princess for a double pop, and in your battle phase you got another double pop. So for the mirror match, it's insane, insane. Yeah, I mean, they all are warding barriers uh, against you, and you just play through it. Um, the you could play Raging Phoenix instead of him, but I decided to play him for a couple of situations where you just end up Amber Whale because you have one body less. Then it's quite better than Raging Phoenix, I guess. So. Uh, Side deck, Bokwa Chimero for the Seal and for the Branded matchup and all like Dark matchups. Necro Valley for Fire matchups and also for Branded. Um, really versatile with Ancient Fairy Dragon because Branded does not play any hand trap. So you always end on Quakimero, Seal and Necro Valley most of the times. <laughs> and then free Heat Wave. If you see this, you just win. There's no way. Activate Heat Wave, set a monster, and it's over. Um, Droplet for a couple of combo matchups, and sometimes against Puppet Log, or yeah, maybe against a Lyrilisk from the Fire decks. But if they just if they just do Lyrilisk, then just do your your Link summons and plus, so you probably won't lose anyway. Then again for Fire or similar matchups. So then we got a little bit of spice. We played free barrier and free similar arch fiend because the the main idea is to go first against every matchup except fire except the snake eye. And uh, so we just bought in three, six, nine FTK cards and seal with follow up you probably I never lost a game when I go first against uh, a matchup which got hit by this. So yeah, that's it. We hope you enjoyed our little profile and stay up to date.